you know, really the biggest thing about BlackBerry Playbook OS 2.0 is the introduction of native PIM, right? So that's email, calendar, and contacts. We've taken, you know, all that kind of magic that we do on BlackBerry today and really amped it up here on Playbook. You can really see this as a stepping stone of what we're doing today on Playbook and in the future with BlackBerry 10. So, you know, just going to the mail, unified inbox uh, on this unit here, we've got a Gmail account set up, Twitter for Twitter direct messages. Um, but what's really cool is it's, uh, you can go here, I can see all my messages in one. I can actually go in then and just filter down to one. Full search, um, it's push, just like you'd expect it to be. But what we really take it around here too is then is integrated contacts. So these are all my Twitter contacts and Gmail contacts. What's amazing too is that you can actually go in and they have a password on it, which I don't know. Shocking. Um, you can actually add in LinkedIn accounts. You get multiple Gmail, uh, Windows Live, uh, Yahoo Mail, whatever you're using for mail service. You have your LinkedIn, your Facebook, and your Twitter account all integrated into your contacts, your calendar, and your uh, email. How many email accounts will it handle? Because I know BlackBerry yeah. phones, they could only really handle around eight or nine email accounts before it won't let you add anymore. Yeah, on this, I, I have three on mine. So I... I don't know. I'll find out. Okay. Um, I'm not quite sure the number, but I have three. So I've got a, I've got my Bez, my corporate email, and then uh, two Gmails on mine. Right. So with the native email app on uh, the playbook with uh, the new OS 2, is it it's connecting through like the BlackBerry server? So it's like the the pushed email that people could ex email, ex yeah. expect that they've always enjoyed on the BlackBerry phones, right? Okay. What can you tell us about? We saw a feature here where you could actually through the BlackBerry Bridge, actually control the playbook now the with the phone. control feature. Um, I think it's on this one. Is this guy set up? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So with BlackBerry Bridge 2.0, what you're able to do is when you, when you pair the device together with Bridge, you're now able to actually remote control the device, including gestures. I can still swipe up, swipe down, and go through the system. The calendar announcements shows you well, what's really cool too is so if you're going to uh, look at this guy here, you can actually uh, switch applications, bring up the status bar, app menu, keyboards. You can use this as a, uh, a keyboard type. If you want to, you know, a touch screen typer. Yeah. And what's great is even for presentations, you can sit here and control your presentations um, with this control. Rather than use like a Pico projector or something like yeah, that. Exactly. Less equipment. For me, you know, the big news for me is so I have an HDMI cable at home hanging off my TV. When I come home, I plug my playbook into my TV. What's great now is I, I can just leave it there and use this to actually control it. So whether I'm going online to watch, you know, video on demand somewhere, or if I, you know, browsing the web, now I have remote control from my couch. Right, and you, you know, with, I have a BlackBerry too, it's always in my pocket. You know, yeah. If there's anything that's always with me, it's that. Yeah, so that's that's one of my favorite things on this one. Uh, what can you tell us, I know a lot of people have uh, a lot of interest with the OS 2, not only with the, the native email and calendar apps, but also the Android support. Um, yes. A lot of people want to, you know, I know Angry Birds just got an official playbook release, they but do, yeah. a lot of people want to port over, you know, comic book readers, uh, ebook reader apps, like, uh, what has changed with the OS 2 with the Android support? So with OS 2, it supports, we have an Android runtime. So it basically supports most applications written for 2.3 and higher. Um, there's some APIs that we don't support, but the majority of them we do, right? So what's great is you can take your APK file as a developer and repackage it as a bar file, which is our format, yeah. have it signed and submitted to BlackBerry App World, just like you would an Adobe Air app or an HTML5 app or a native app for, for BlackBerry Playbook. Right, so it's basically in the hands of the app developers to convert the format and have them list on App World, unless you're tech savvy enough to, to do it yourself. Yeah, some people, I know, some I know right now you can do it yourself. Some people do it themselves with a lot of developers. We're also working with aggregators, so like Hanster, for example, oh, okay. um, who are actually going through their catalog and submitting applications in as well. So, will there be a dedicated section in App World for the Android converted apps, or will it just be uh, strewn amongst the existing App they're, World apps? They're just going to be in there, right? And one of the great things about that is, regardless of what language and or platform you're building on BlackBerry Playbook, whether it's Air or HTML5 or, or native or Android, from a consumer perspective, it's just an app. Right? We've just, you know, again, you know, it's 5,000 plus apps now just specifically for Playbook, for 50,000 across the platform, and yeah. then, you know, adding in all these Android ones on top of that just gives me you know, more choice. Okay, excellent. So, pretty well with BlackBerry Playbook OS 2 native uh, 
email, contact list, a better streamlined support for Android apps and being able to actually use your BlackBerry smartphone via the new Bridge software to interact with your playbook and to type on your playbook we're using your BlackBerry physical keyboard. So this is good e-reader at CES 2012, checking out BlackBerry Playbook OS 2.